Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Baltimore Catechism, published as The Catechism Explained, an exhaustive exposition of the Catholic religion. Page 691. The words full of grace have this signification. Thou hast received the graces of the Holy Spirit in a higher degree than all the saints together. As the moon gives more light than all of the hosts of stars, so the Mother of God possesses the supernatural light of the Holy Spirit to a greater extent than all the saints. The full plentitude of grace was poured out on her, whereas it was bestowed but partially on all the other saints. So richly was Mary endowed with grace that she approaches more nearly than any other being to the author of grace. God might have created a greater heaven, a greater earth, but a greater mother than Mary he could not create. The name Mary means sea. She is indeed an ocean of grace. The angel said to her, Thou hast found grace with God. Only that which was lost can be found. Mary had not lost grace. Therefore, she found what man had lost. Let those then who have by their sins lost the grace of God, hasten to Mary, that they may recover it at her hands. From the Desert With Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. <laughs>